Hey, this is David for Chase Breaks, and I hope you enjoyed the new intro video. And in this one, I am going to be opening up my personal Donruss Mega Box. I saved one uh, out of like 70 something boxes. I saved one. Uh, we've broken all of them. I did want to use this video as kind of a chance to update everybody on everything that's going on. All the breaks for the week are complete. We are completely out of Donruss products. No more Donruss. Uh, unfortunately, I wish I had a lot more. Those were really fun to break. And I uh, get to enjoy this last one for myself here. But I did list some baseball today. So if you're interested in some baseball, you can look forward to that. Uh, it's Panini Chronicles Blaster Boxes. They have four unparalleled cards in them each. So there's going to be 40 in a break and it'd be kind of cool uh looking forward to that those auctions are going to be up today um they should end on sunday this week so if you're looking forward to getting in on those go ahead and check out the ebay profile all right uh, i'm looking forward to this as i do with my breaks i'm going to cut all the packs at first here i can pretty much tell where the uh, auto is going to be so I'm going to save that for the last pack uh, in this one. I usually don't do that in our breaks. I kind of just like to do whatever comes up and we just go with that. But since this is my video and for my own personal pleasure here, I am going to be doing it how I like. I'm going to be doing the auto last, saving the suspense for myself towards the end. It's always a little bit more fun. I like to do that with the bonus packs, and anytime you know that there's going to be a hit, I like to say that for the last, except for the memorabilia packs, because I don't really care so much for the memorabilia. They're usually not that good. Although we did, in the breaks today, we did pull two Joe Burrow um, autos. Not autos, uh, excuse me. Uh, we did pull two Joe Burrow memorabilia cards, and I was thinking about autos in my head, and I'm wanting to say... This is the memorabilia pack, the uh, second to last one, which would mean that the auto is in the first pack. So, trying to see if I can tell for sure. I'm, I'm almost certain it's in the first one here. And yeah, I'm taking a look. It is. It's in the first pack. So I'm going to set that aside and get that one last. Let's see what we got. I'm hoping for a pink Joe Burrow or a pink Herbert or a pink Tua. I have oh, I've seen hardly any pink Tua cards. All right. Our first bronze press proof. That's George Kittle. And we've got a pink rated rookie. This one's for the Ravens. And that's Devin Duvernay. Not terrible. We have a Legends of the Fall Donnie Shell for the Steelers insert. Here we go, another rated rookie. This is a good one. CD Lamb. Nice. I'm so used to these breaks, I'm wanting to say congrats, but I would just be congratsing myself, and that would be kind of weird, right? There we go. CD Lamb. I like that. I don't think I've gotten one of his yet. I did open a couple of blasters and value packs, so I do have quite a few rated rookies and stuff already. I just don't have a lot of the pink ones. All right, that's Jedrick Wills for the Browns, unfortunately, on that pink one. And then we've got Tyron Matthew, Action All Pros insert. I'm not a really big fan of the Action All Pros. And we've got Ricky Ashton Davis for the Jets. And then I have already messed up my sorting over here. I didn't even bother to get the sorting tray. All right, we got a Montez Sweat. There's a Bronze Press Proof, Greg Olson. And here we got a Pink Rated Rookie. Uh, I saw the team, it was the Dolphins. 
Is this Tua? Is this Tua? Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't think I've seen one of those in our breaks. Oh my god. Oh wow. I'm really excited about that one. Wow. I did not think I was going to pull that one. Holy crap. All right. Then we've got a Tom Brady Donruss 90 insert. Nice. This is a really good pack. I'm excited. I got some cards I really wanted. I really was hoping to get a pink Tua or a pink Burrow. I got the Tua. I'm stoked. That is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about that, guys. <laughs> and I'm going to sleeve the Brady because I like his cards. I, I keep, uh, of all the players that I collect uh, in the NFL, I like to collect just about any Brady card I can get my hands on. So There we go. We got a Ricky Patrick Queen. It's going to be hard to top that uh, pink Tua. Let's see if we can, though. I'm going to be glowing about that all day. That's awesome. All right, got another pink rookie. This is just a rookie. That's Terrell Lewis for the Rams. Got an Elite Series for Buffalo. That's Jake Fromm. I like to sleeve the Elite Series cards because I kind of like them. We got a Rated Rookie for the Raiders. That's Brian Edwards. I'm still kind of in breaker mode. I'm <laughs> showing off all the cards, even though they're not that great, uh, like the veterans and stuff. But here we go. This is the memorabilia pack, so I'm going to get to see what my memorabilia is here. It's the very next card here. Not him, but the next one. Oh my God, Joe Burrow! <laughs> what a what a box! Oh my God! All right, there's a pink rated rookie behind it. Well, I don't know if it's rated rookie, but it's a pink rookie. It has to be. It is Isaiah Simmons. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. Okay. So we got the Joey Burrow rookie phenoms. I was. You know, I've been really jealous of those of you all who got this in the break, so I can't believe this box. This is insane. All right, then we got the retro series, Barry Sanders, and then a rookie, Kyle Duggar, for the Patriots. This has been an unreal box. I can't believe it. And I've still got uh, the auto to go here later on. All right. This is a, a bronze-rated rookie. Is this him again? Is this Tua? Is it Tua? It is. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. All right. All right. So let's see. We got a pink Derek Brown behind that. This has been the Tua Mega Box. <laughs> I'm really going to have to start rooting for him when he starts playing now. Wow. All right, this is a rookie Gridiron Kings. <laughs> That's Cherry Judy. It's a really nice insert. Wow. And we've got rookie Yater Gross Matos for the Panthers. So we move it on to the auto pack next. I am flipping stoked with this box. It is unreal. All right, we are getting really close to that auto. Okay, 
Okay, the auto is the next card. It looks like it's going to be a rookie auto. There we go. This is a Charger, I believe. Rated Charger, Joe Reed. Nice. I'll take that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we should have a pink rookie. This is my last chance for the pink Joe Burrow. Get my fingers crossed. Although I'm pretty happy with what we've gotten so far. It is Devin Asiasi, unfortunately. But I can't complain too much. All right, so we might have another rookie after this insert. Uh, it's Jalen Johnson for the Bears. But I am definitely, definitely not disappointed with this box. Absolutely amazing. So let me go over all of the cards uh, that were in this box that I personally enjoy here. So I really like the Donruss 90 Tom Brady in the Bucks uniform. It It's nice. The colors match the border. Really good. I like this one. I'm going to end up, uh, well, actually, I'm going to go ahead and top load it just because I like to keep all the Brady's top loaded. I like them. There we go. All right. Then we had some really nice rookies first insert here is jerry judy a really nice one he's on my fantasy team i like that got a pink isaiah simmons probably not the best pink rated rookie but still good um and then the rated rookie cd lamb very nice and the auto the joe reed auto then we had the memorabilia was joe burrow i uh, been looking forward to getting that one. I was really hoping for it. I didn't want to have to buy it uh, as a single. But then, this was the Tua box, without a doubt. We got a bronze press-proof Tua and the pink rated rookie Tua. I can't believe it. That is awesome. Oh, man. All right. So, when it comes to our breaks here, we have, like I said, we have some Panini Chronicles scheduled to break um, next week. The auction's in Sunday. The breaks are on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So, uh, actually, if you can wait here, I'm going to get you a box. I'm going to show you real quick what we got in. All right, there you go. That is the Chronicles Blaster box. I got three of these for myself, uh, and there's 40 to break. Uh, well, there's at least 30 to break, I'll say. Uh, I've set aside three for sure for myself, but we'll see how things go with the rest of them. These boxes, of course, are the Panini Chronicles. There are four packs, five cards in a pack, and there are four unparalleled cards per box on average, and if you're curious what the par unparalleled cards look like, there you go. I think that's a Jordan Alvarez. Yeah. Uh, they look really, really nice. Uh, I don't care if they don't have the license. These Panini cards look really nice, and I've seen people post on Twitter that they have mosaic uh, cards in here for the Chronicles, so that's really cool. I'm going to open up one of these later this week after we get the shipping done and get everything shipped out. And I'll update everyone on how that's going. And I don't have any more inventory other than the Chronicles right now. I have some older Donruss Optic Baseball, but I'm, I'm kind of waiting to crack into that. We've got a few mega boxes of it and a couple mega boxes of Prism Baseball as well that I'm kind of saving for a rainy day. But uh, hopefully I can get some more stuff picked up this week. We'll see how it goes. I did manage to get a couple of the Tops Complete sets ordered off their website. I'm kind of excited about that. But uh, really excited about this break. Well, not this break, but uh, this box for myself. That's awesome. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't ask for much better uh, personally, but that's it, guys. That's all there is for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed the intro video. I'm going to try and start playing this a little bit more, but that's it for now. Thank you all. Have a great day.